interesting is what orangs, orangutans tell us about our own evolution. Uh -huh. And from our perspective, we think that orangutans tell us a great deal about um, the early stages of humans starting to walk on two legs, which we think happened in the trees. And um, this is one of the most significant developments in our evolution. So it can tell us a great deal about who we are today. When you said we started walking in the trees, uh, what, what do you mean by that? When I try and walk in a tree, I fall out of it. Ah, oh, with practice, you probably wouldn't. <laughs> um, what I'm sorry, what I mean is um, the traditional view of the evolution of human walking on two legs yeah. has been that um, the common ancestor of chimpanzees and humans came down out of the trees and knuckle walked on the ground, much like a chimpanzee does. And then the ancestor of humans stood up and, and strode off onto the savanna. Mm, yeah, it sounds like a western, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> off into the sunset. Yeah. Um, and our, our theory is that actually the common ancestor of all of the great apes were, was using um, an upright body type of locomotion in which bipedalism played a part millions of years before the split between the chimpanzee and, and human common ancestor. I'm trying to think of myself climbing trees and actually I use my legs and arms separately. Is that, is that what the kind of thing you're saying? That in effect bipedalism well, happened because of climbing trees requires different processes for arms and legs? No, what, what, what we think is that what we found in orangutans by watching them in the wild is that they use bipedalism when they're moving on very thin, flexible branches, mostly towards the, the uh, terminal edge of the branch, uh -huh. so that um, which is where the fruits, most of the fruits are situated, and where the smallest gaps between tree crowns are, so that they can move to the next tree crown. Um, and they tend to walk on that. And when they're walking bipedally on those flexible branches, they tend to hold on with one hand as well. Hmm. So our idea is that this um, walking while they're holding on with one hand actually makes the transition to bipedalism to supporting all the body on two legs much easier yeah. because they're, they're supporting their weight in, in um, multiple mm -hmm. positions, whereas if they're on the ground, all of the weight is just on the legs. I understand that, yeah. Good point. 